Pterodactyl here, and today I'm here with Scott from Tough Torque. And what we're going to discuss today is how to look up parts for these Tough Torque transmissions and how important it is to make sure you got the right information. So what I did, Scott, is I'm say I'm Joe Customer. And I went out and I took a picture of that barcode that's on the back of my transmission, my Tough Torque transmission. So off of this barcode, what do we need to know? What's the information we need? What, what are all these numbers mean? Well, the first top number, the limited digit part number, is for the transmission itself for Tough Torque. The bottom number is a, usually the number for the OEM who made the tractor. And then the top right number is the serial number. That's the most important number you're going to need when looking up parts. So there this is, number right here yes. on the end. And that there's in two sections. The first part of this one tells what type of transmission and then the last set of numbers is the sequence it was made shows you which group it's in. Now there are several different types of barcodes or different labels that we use. Some may start with like this one says 40J. Some may start with just letters because the newer version has just letters in it and it doesn't actually say 40J but this is a 40J transmission. We'll show you here in a minute on the website how to look that up. Alright so now we're going to go to Tough Torch website. So how do we get to Tough Torch website? We're going to go to toughtorque.com. You're going to click on buy parts and then in the search bar you're going to put in the first part of your serial number. In this case it's 40 capital J. Always use capital letters. You hit enter and it's going to bring up a whole range, a list of ranges of the serial numbers and this one happens to be 160,108 which is going to fall right in here in this second category. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on parts and it's going to generate a drawing. In this exploding view, you can see all the parts that are listed and some of the kits that are available for it. These reference numbers, you can click on them. We're looking up a filter. What you yeah, I want to. I need a filter for my transmission. So if you're looking up a filter for this particular transmission, we're going to click on number 26 right here. Is the filter, and it's going to pop up and going to show you the part number, and it says filter 105. And you can order it here by clicking Add to Cart or you can go to your local Tough Torque registered dealer to buy the parts if they have them on hand or they can get them ordered for you. Now to look up other parts, you can either click on them here or you can scroll down. And here's a whole list of parts with the reference number on the left, the part numbers in the second column, then the description, and of course it has the price and, and if they're available or not. Now if it says out of stock, that doesn't mean nobody has them, that just means they're not in that warehouse so you still can order them. At the bottom of the list are some of the kits, like a seal kit will show up here in a minute. We have a repair kit, which is most of the hydraulic components inside the transmission, and then, of course the housing kit is the external housings. On this parts list and the drawing, you're going to see the kits listed over here, and it shows what parts are in each kit. Sometimes the parts may not say a specific item because it's in another kit. A good example, a seal kit may have the TT3, which is the Tough Tech transmission oil, it doesn't show it in the repair kit because it's in the seal kit already. So number 200 is the seal kit, 201 comes with 200. That's a question we see a lot. People wonder why it's not in there, but it's actually there. So when you order the seal kit, you're gonna get the fluid with it. Correct. Now the importance for looking up by the serial number is there are several different filters that we offer. If you're looking for a filter, you gotta make sure you get the right one. You know, if you just pick any filter that may fit, because these three look similar, they're all almost the same size, and they may actually fit in the housing, but they do different things other than filter. You know, one may be designed for a non-charge pump system, where, there, where this one has a, a, maybe a, a bigger openings in the, the screens for a, for a non-charge pump, where it's just gravity and, and uh, the fluid's got to get sucked in by the main pump. Okay. Where you have one that's really a filter and it's really tight because it's got a charge pump that's sucking the oil through it. Okay. So th these are made for different ones on that. And they may fit in the same hole, they're the same diameter, but they're made for two different applications. And then we also have other filters that are shaped like this that are serviceable filters that you can change from the outside. You, you have a, some of them have a plug that you can unscrew and then pull the filter out just like you would on your car and change the filter that way. These filters are all internal and you have to have the transmission apart to change those. So this is just a small example of the many filters that you have. Yes, we have many different than this. This is just a rough... So that's why it's important that you look up the right parts. 
because th there's also different micron ratings too. Even though these two filters may look the same, they may have a different micron rating. Right, one has bigger pores or bigger openings than the other for the non-charge pump one. Now I ran into an issue lately where I had one of these filters that came in a kit that fit a certain transmission I was working on and my old filter didn't have these protrusions on there. That doesn't mean it's not going to work in that same transmission, right? Because this will just work in many transmissions. Right. Sometimes the filters, the, the original filter that was shaped like this may have not had these and we have a newer transmission that uses this same filter that has a magnet that fits in here. That, and it would, this same filter fits multiple transmissions now that would, you know, it's designed for a specific reason for these, but this doesn't matter. It's just sticking out there and doesn't do anything. So this fits a different transmission that uses a magnet that goes right. in there. Mm -hmm. So just because it looks a little different doesn't mean it's not going to fit the one that you have. But again, it's important to have that model of the trans and that serial number. So when you bring up this parts list, you make sure you're getting the right parts. Correct. Because you know what? When you call over there and you get the wrong parts, these people get mad. They get mad. They're not going to sound mad on the phone, but when they hang up the phone, they're talking about you. I know they are because I do the same thing. When I get off the phone, I start talking about my customers. Okay, Scott, is there anything else on your website that you could show us? Sure, there's some tech info that we have some tech support stuff on. Bottom left corner, you click on tech info. Have several different things on here. You have some K70 diagrams for some of the older transmissions, K61s, K92s for some of the uh, subcompact tractor transmissions. And then we have a repair procedures which has a bunch of tech files for rebuilding or repairing several different transmissions. The majority of them are what we call the K46 type, which includes the K46, T40, and TL200, which are all similar. But a lot of our transmissions have similar internal components, so the, the info will work on multiples of them. If you click on it, it's going to pull up like a, like a drawing or a um, slideshow. And Oh, look at that. Tools needed. And why a claw hammer? Are we going to be doing some carpentry? You know, each, each one's going to give some different directions and some specs. You can print it, you can download it, so you can save it for later. Um, some of this stuff will cover multiple things that you can find individually. So, like if you want to reseal one, you could find just the reseal procedure. You don't have to go to the rebuild procedure and scroll down to find just the reseal part. Nice. But all these are available on here. There's, um, like I said, axle bushing, axle seal, fulcrum o rings, uh, control arm seal replacements, bypass arm replacements, uh, complete repair information. At the main page right here, you see a um, like loss of power and uh, worn cylinder blocks in your case. It's just kind of giving you an idea of what that means or what happens when you when you have loss of power. When you experience that problem. Exactly. What it could possibly be. Right, there's a, a fluids and lubricants section that has all kinds of different things about our, our oils and what the, those oils need to be used in and what you should use to replace it with. There's an oil change procedure that I think you just done a video on. It gives all those oil change procedures for the TZ450. And they can also buy your tools? They, they can buy our tools, you can look here and look up some of our tools. There's um, several different tool kits available. Oops, get the right number in. This is a dealer tool kit, but it, it includes a bunch of different tools. It has the, uh, the stand that you, yes. you have, and the seal tools that you have, and the, bypass, or the um, vent valve tool as well. And then on this main page, on the right-hand side, there's a troubleshooting section, and it kind of gives you a flow chart of what mine's doing, and then yes or no it's doing that and then you kind of work your way through. Um, depends on how your stuff's worded, it may not fit exactly what you're doing, you kind of have to read into it and figure out what. But it just kind of gives you a guide and kind of points you in the right direction on what you should look at it, next. It may remind you of something you hadn't checked. You might say, oh I looked at that. So, um, And then you've got a list of distributors which um, you got dealers all over the United States that you can buy any of these parts from or you can order them. Some of the stuff you can get through your guys' website as well. Right. Um, so there's a lot of info there if you need it. There's actually um, a phone number you can call to order it, and there's some tech support on there as well. 
So there you have it. You got the, all this information right at your fingertips. All you need is one of these, a keyboard and a computer. And you can find out all kinds of information for free on Tough Torque's website. Well, thank you, Scott, if that's your real name. <laughs> Today it is. All right, quit shaking my hand. All right, you can let go now. All right, let go. All right, let go. <laughs>